Hello, welcome to Learning Programming with JavaScript number 20. In this, we're going to learn about bitwise operations. We're going to do some more stuff with binary values. So we're going to start out where we left off. We're going to use this bits function. Now bits prints out the 8 bits of a positive integer number. So we can see here if we enter in 9, it prints out the bits of 9. If we do 19, it's out the bits of 19. So let's jump straight into this. The bitwise operators are similar to the arithmetic operators plus subtract, multiply, divide. So this first operator here is the OR operator. This is AND and this is XOR. So we're going to walk through these one by one and show what they do. So first of all, let's do 9 or 19. If you look here at the bits now, it has set the bits to 1 where there is any one bit in these two numbers. But anywhere there's both zeros, it's still 0. Or essentially passes through 1 anywhere between the two numbers. And works a separate way. And is like multiplying the values together. If we do 9 and 19, we can see the only value in the bit set to 1 is the first bit here. This is because if we look at 9 and 19, if we multiply 1 and 1 here, we get 1, which is the first bit. But everywhere else here, if we multiply 0 and 1, we get 0. Right here again, if we multiply 1 and 0, we get 0. So AND is like multiplying each bit with each other. Now, XOR is by far the most complicated. And it's a bit difficult to wrap your head around what exactly it's doing. So now if we look at the result of XOR down here, we can see where there's both 1, it is 0. Where there's just 1, 1, it's 1 where there's two zeros it's still zero but where there's one one it's one <laughs> so essentially what XOR does is if you have two ones they cancel each other out and you get zero but if you have just a single one it is passed through I suggest you fiddle around with these and try out different numbers and see what binary results they give you